Alright, I'm down here with the Packard Bell Force 4650. I was going to use my tripod, however, due to space constraints and trying to film the CRT, just wasn't going to happen. Um, this isn't where the computer is going to stay. I'm not really sure where it is. But this is the monitor that I've been rambling on about that I had. This thing is dirty, it's filthy, I gotta clean it up, I know. But, uh, I also don't have the power cord for the speakers, but I probably do somewhere. You know, you know I probably have something. But, uh, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna warn you now. Maybe a little unpopular. Compared to some. For some time, I've been wanting to get a... Get the, uh, what's that thing called? The, uh... Packard Bell Restore CD. But I, I chose to go a different route. <coughs> and, um, the reason being is, you know, we all have to be honest with ourselves. Um, I don't imagine a world where I would actually use the Packard Bell, the uh, Packard Bell Navigator and stuff like that. Um, so, what I'm going to do is something else that may be unpopular. This is a brand new, never been used, Windows 95. I'm not going to show the product key, but it's never been used. And uh, that's what I'm about to do. So, I wanted to make sure the monitor worked. The monitor works just fine. Um... Sat in the warehouse that you know everything that's here that's Packard Bell came from the same thrift store just at different times. Well, actually, I did buy the monitor at the same time, but due to the fact they fired somebody, you know, they never. It was it was difficult getting it, and then it sat in my truck for I don't know three, maybe a month or two. Uh, in the one truck I'm not actually using, so. <clears throat> Without further further ado, what I'm going to do is uh, pause the video, I guess, unless I can do this one-handed. really wish I was able to use a tripod down here. I even brought the tripod down. I mean, it's been, been upstairs, and then I brought it down, and because of the fact that I'm filming a bulky... Oh, they give you this to put on a floppy disk. Cool. Ooh, maybe I should put AOL on it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get into the disk. One hit. Ooh, maybe I can. I'm gonna do it this way. So there's a tip. When you're going to rip off CDs from Walmart... You open it that way. Please, do not do that. That was a joke. Not a good one, but it was a joke. That's not something you're going to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to wipe the hard drive, and then I'm going to put a... I'm going to, you know, reinstall Windows. And I'll keep you updated along the way. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to test a couple things like CD-ROM. CD-ROM is not healthy, but it's working and I'm confident enough to continue. And uh, so right now I am formatting and uh, published a question that I'm hoping to get an answer to. But, uh... So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to format this. I'm not going to make you sit through that. I mean, I'd like to think that uh, you guys know how to do that. And uh, meanwhile, I'm doing a ton of Windows updates here on my Acer crap top. So for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Pause this again and come back once I have some sort of excited news, I guess. So, alright. 
All right, with the hard drive wiped, I went ahead and I put this number back in as the volume label, because that is what was the volume label when I started. And I did post a picture, hoping to get an answer. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, for some reason, this is R for the CD-ROM. Excuse me, I do apologize. I am currently... Uh, getting over food poisoning. That is not a fun situation, let me tell you. It's been a long time since I had it. But uh, here we are. And this is where it's about to go down. Okay, last time this the CD-ROM just skipped and stuttered. Because I wanted to make sure they would actually go through this process <clears throat> before I formatted the hard drive because I would have felt like a uh, total uh, imbecile if I had and I actually had to move a 22 inch flat screen TV put a CRT TV up here <laughs> and then I had to clean up a lot of mess I know you might not think that that wire mess there is a lot better than it was a little bit ago but uh Ah, uh, the sound of Connor hard drives. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to be uh, switching off the camera. I mean, all right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch off the camera now. Um, or give me a second. I know what many of you will say, yes, I, I know that there is a trick with the, uh, with the, um, serial key, but that's not what I want to do. I, w I want to, I bought a, a, uh, brand new disc because that's what I wanted to use. So, that's the reason I'm not going to, uh, share the ID number because that one is mine but uh yeah for right now i guess what i'll do is i'll switch this off again because it's analyzing i'm really curious as to how many drivers it will pick up that would be the only reason that i would want to use the packard bell restore cd is because of the drivers and this bad boy is doing 50 updates can you tell how often i'm down here but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Is um, I'm not going to use Navigator. I can't really imagine a world where I would. So that's what I want to do is just use use the computer as a Windows 95 machine. I don't want to use it. You know, I, I, I I'm not a. I've had Packard Bells in the past, but uh. It is kind of cool to have, you know, Packer Bell system, Packer Bell monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Even though this mouse is really, really weird. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's where I stand with this. And I was hoping, because it was going really quick, I was hoping that it would, uh, go faster. And that does not sound healthy. I think this will end up being the recipient of a uh, of an IDE to compact flash card. I, I really do. I mean, I don't I, don't... I don't know. That hard drive does not sound wonderful. It didn't sound wonderful when before I started this, so I know that's not because of that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and then I'll be back when I have more to show. I have never made a Windows startup disk this way. So, for the heck of it, I'm going to do it. Why not? Right? Normally, I just go to bootdisk.com and download one and do it that way. Been doing it that way for, shoot, 20 years. <laughs> I think that site's been up that long. 
I mean, I remember going on Windows 98 and downloading one. And when ME came out, and yeah, it's it's okay. So maybe not 20 years, but at least 15. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect when like I don't know. Is this like a normal boot disc, like the one I downloaded? So, guess I'll find out later. Because for the heck of it, I'm gonna plug, you know, leave it in, and it tells me not to, and then. When uh get that far, I'll do it. And still downloading 50 updates on this machine over here. But, yeah, for a minute, I didn't think that this monitor actually worked and, you know, made sense because it sat in a warehouse for a long time. But the, uh, this is not a digital controls, obviously. But, uh, when I went to, when I turned it on, I got no picture, but I'm like, you know, it is kind of white, though. The, uh, is that the contrast or is that the brightness? I can't tell which, whatever the one on the left is, that was turned all the way down and gave no image. I don't know if that's why it ended up in a, you know, in the, um, uh, thrift store or not. So... I do have a game to try to play on, even though I won't have sound. I don't know if this processor is even strong enough for that. We'll find out. I only have one game down here, so it is what it is. And, uh, figure why not get around to messing with this Packard Bell. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming because this... Yeah, I've been teasing about this thing for, God, around Thanksgiving, maybe. Maybe not that long. Maybe around January. I'll have to go back in my archives and see where where I showed it. The HP that I got with it is still sitting in one of my spare trucks. So, we'll see what happens with that eventually. But now it's preparing to copy files, and I don't know how long this will take, because it's been a long time since I messed with Windows 95 this way, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the camera down, and then come back to it, because I don't want to kill my battery, since I don't think I have a charger down here. So, peace out till the next segment. This is actually moving along pretty well. Um, yeah, so... I'm only to 41% on my battery, so what I'm going to do is um, not use up too much for unnecessary footage. But yeah, it's moving along pretty well. It's, I mean, it's been going on for a little bit, but it's not that bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find... You know what? I have a USB cable. And I have that port replicator that should, in fact, charge my phone. So, that's what I'm going to try to do right now. Um, also, for some reason, this monitor keeps, like, actually flickering, and you hear a relay clicking inside. I don't know if it's just because it hasn't been used in so long or what, but we'll find out soon enough. And uh, for right now, I'm going to start trying to charge this dang thing. So, uh, yeah, give me a minute. All right, so... Uh, here we are at this guy here. I did remove the floppy drop disk just to save time. And I went to get a better Amazon Prime cable from the other side of the room that I remembered I had. And man, I wanged my head good on the uh, doorway. So... You know. And this thing's still doing updates. But now we're getting ready to run Windows 95 here. Man, that hard drive is cranking. But, uh, yeah, so, that's what I'm dealing with here. I don't want to remove the uh, disk drive, or the uh, CD drive just yet. I don't know how long this is going to take. I mean, this is a Pentium 120 megahertz with 4 megs of RAM, or 8 megs of RAM. 
I'd really like to update it to 16 if I can. I forget what the maximum amount is on this. I did actually look it up at one point. Um, actually, I can look that up right now. Crucial. I'm on my other computer here. Maybe I should point the camera the way I'm going. I just kind of want to see. Wow, they still have Packard Bell in here. Uh oh, something's happening. Force. What is this thing? A Force 4650. I just can't really. Force 4650. Whoa! This will take, according to them, and sorry to take you off of here. According to Crucial, we'll take 128 megs of RAM. Let me, uh. Yeah, so maybe 32 would be nice. I'm not going to go all the way up to 128. I mean. 32 would be nice. <laughs> Gotta see what's actually in it and how it can be dealt with. And, uh, yeah. Don't mind me, I am tired. For those who don't know, it is 3.33 in the morning here in uh, southern New Jersey. You know, I'm awake during the time that those in Europe and uh, Australia and New Zealand are. Not so much uh, while everybody else is. But I don't know. I, I forget how this goes. So I'm probably just going to end up. Well, let's see what happens here. I might end up just popping off the uh, camera again and waiting. For a few minutes, I'm trying to let this thing charge, which I don't know how many amps that a uh, USB port puts out, because it is hooked to that. Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure exactly what's happening. It has been a very, very, very long time for Windows 95 for me. Yes, that's what I thought was going to happen. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, stop the video once again. We'll see what happens from here. Thank you. Be right back. That less than a minute. After I shut the camera off, setup has finished. Configure thy system. You must restart before these new settings will take effect. Click OK to restart your computer now. OK. I didn't even get a chance to see if my uh, camera battery went up any. I hate recording this cathode ray. It's actually not moving too bad. If I remember right, this Wheel of Fortune game was might be too much for it. I have a ton of stuff on floppy upstairs that I should probably bring down. Alright, it thinks it's 10 a.m. 
on March 8th. It's really not that far off. Just date and time. It is... Three thirty-eight, probably closer to thirty-nine, and it's March twelfth. See, I actually filmed these on the day I put them up. All right, so let's see what we got here. Wow, that actually has the actual. Uh, I don't like that. Alright, so it's missing the communications port, which I don't care about. And it's missing the sound card, which I do care about. Alright, let's see what it shows for, uh... It does show the proper Cirrus Logic video. Let's see here. That's the first time I've seen that screen area in. Okay, I'm going to assume that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, so probably 800 by 600. But it should handle the uh, 24 billion. Okay, so that did work. Alright. I am curious. One meg memory. Alright. Let's restart that for the uh, settings. Now this will not really be a complete video, so I am going to put a, a part one slash part two. I'll pull a Linus Media Group on that. And then uh, see where things go from there. But, um, yeah, this does seem to be working. I don't know, I might still grab the, uh, I, I haven't even gotten on to the uh, network to download them yet. I do finally have CDRs I can use, which is nice. <laughs> I do have that going for me. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so the best part about Windows 95. Solitaire. So I don't know. I, I can only imagine that being dragged down with uh, all the extra stuff that this would probably be a little bit slow, but all in all... It's really not running too, too bad. It's actually running better than I was expecting. I was not expecting it to have as many drivers as it did. So I might try to find the Packard Bell driver for the uh, sound card because that should also clear up that communications port. But, um, yeah. So I'm glad I found... Oh, yeah, you can't do that in Windows... Actually, below Windows 2000, you can't right-click. Um, yeah, so... That's where we stand right now. I actually have this uh, set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to install the um, install this game and see if it'll even run on here. And if it does, I'll bring the camera back up. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me play solitaire. I just wanted to have something interesting going on the screen while I was rambling. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess I'll be back momentarily because either way I'm going to close up the uh, close up the video properly so alright I'll be back I'm honestly not holding out too much hope for uh, for this actually working because it has uh, taken a relatively disturbing amount of time to get to 32% and uh well, now it's at 33. We'll see. I mean, going through the uh, going through the menus on the install, like it's doing the 
think. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know. Uh, I might end up just hitting cancel and try to find something else. Like, I've got a ton of stuff on Floppy Drive, but they're, like, all really, really DOS games, like Doom and some other stuff. But, uh, yeah, so... I think I'm gonna... I, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end up coming back to this one more time, but uh, I'm gonna hit can hit uh close or uh off on the camera one more time, and I'll be right back. So yeah, I've got this up and running, and I gotta say it's not running as bad as I thought it would, and it's actually running pretty good. Now I'm sure that there are some people who can tell me that this mouse doesn't belong with this keyboard and this monitor doesn't belong with the tower or the keyboard and the mouse I don't know but uh all I know is you know well, it works um, one thing that has always peeved me off about Microsoft is the Windows in the Windows setup you tell it no I do not want the online services or the MSN network and what do you see right there? MSN network and online services. I don't know why they can't get through the well. This is back in Windows 95. I'll stop my rant. But yeah, um, you know, I might run it as it is for right now. Then order a compact flash, and then uh, when I get the compact flash, then I will. I might do the whole um, Packard Bell system restore CD setup, but for right now, I have it work and it does not have all that junk in it that was in it before, and it really doesn't run too bad. Now I promised myself I was going to do something that I have not yet done, so it's time to do that. Let me put this, I wonder if this will work on NT based systems, like if I can actually, and it's designed for Windows 98. Well, yeah, 95 and 98. So I wonder if it will actually work on NT based systems, like if I can run it on my Windows 8 system, but let's see what this, I, I, I honestly have never ran one of those floppy, you know, the setup discs ran from the CD, so please forgive me for being a dork, but this is what it is. I just want to see what they look like and I'm not sure, you know what, I never did find out which version of Windows 95 that is, I'm assuming it's A because um, it doesn't have the USB support on it and uh, you know, I don't know how many okay so that's all it looks like okay but here's a question for you I don't know how many of you guys run uh, run uh, groups but I run a couple of them and I am getting all kinds of fake uh, profiles. By the way, my there's a reason I call this a crap top. And you're seeing that. I really should put Windows 7 back on it. But, you know, this comes up, you know, Madeline Adams changed his profile picture. Has a profile of a female on there. And I, I don't know what that's really supposed to be. Why <clears throat> why do I always get get these profiles like that? So does that does this have power saving mode? Well either way I'm shutting down the power strip, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't know. Am I the only one that's getting those right now? Cause uh I'm getting a ton of those in this group and I'm not sure why. <laughs> So, anyway, back to the system at hand, which is this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go upload this, and I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you made it to the end, 
and have a very, very blessed morning. See ya.